We have some breaking news, and it is bad breaking news, as Max Scherzer, New York Mets ace, future Hall of Famer Max Scherzer, has a moderate to high grade oblique strain, the Mets have said, and he will miss six to eight weeks, so this is crushing for so many reasons. Last night, Max was starting, he had another good start, five and two thirds inning pitch against the Cardinals, he only allowed one earned run, so Max, he has been doing Max Scherzer things, he's in his upper 30s, but it just seems like he's ageless, he still has it. And he's such a huge piece to this Mets team. And then he pulled himself from the start. And you know that it's really bothering him if Scherzer is pulling himself from the start. He is one of the most competitive people in the whole game of baseball. So he will fight through almost anything unless he really can't, which seemed to be the case yesterday. So a moderate to high oblique strain. He'll be out from a month and a half to two months. And this is going on top of Jacob deGrom already being out till sometime in the summer. We got an update on him earlier this week week but there's still not a date where he's going to return to mound work once you return to mound work you have to do all that ramp up process before you get back in games as well he'll have to do a rehab assignment so the Mets will be without aces Jacob deGrom and Max Scherzer for quite some time now it'll be a bit until we see them back one or the other but the Mets they have started really well this season they're 25 and 14 6 and 4 in their last 10 and have a six game lead currently in the NL East over the Phillies there's a a really close group for second with the Phillies, Marlins, and Braves all within a game and a half of each other. So we'll see if they can keep that up. It's definitely good that they built that cushion because the Mets in years past, they've had some second half collapses. So I think all baseball fans are just hoping Scherzer and, De and DeGrom can recover as fast as possible and really be healthy for the stretch of the season where the Mets are trying to compete for a World Series. Definitely a crushing blow for the next six to eight weeks. No Mad Max in baseball as the game is better when he is healthy and dominating. Let me know your thoughts. Mets are going to be without one of their aces for about two months.